All right, let's look at this one. <clears throat> and A is going down at 3 meters per second. Uh, determine the velocity of B at this instant. So it's kind of constrained along both of these. And so this bar right here, bar AB, is not in pure rotation. Let's use the relative velocity method. <clears throat> I like to kind of put the point that I know the least about on the left-hand side of my equation. So I, I would start VB equals VA plus VB slash A. And we remember this relative term depends on rotation, depends on the angular velocity, <clears throat> omega cross R. And this R needs to be B slash A. And that omega, you could say omega AB, omega BA, omega, you know, it's just the omega of the rigid body uh, of bar AB. So I think we can go straight into this uh, equation right here. Um, you know, I know the velocity of A is 3 down. I don't know that. I'm, I know just from the figure I can do <coughs> the R from A to B. Um, I don't know this, but <coughs> I know its direction. All right, let's go ahead and start right there. I don't know VB, but I need to... Do I know anything about it? Yeah, I know it is confined to move <coughs> along this slot right here. Um, I think it's kind of moving backwards right there, but I could guess downwards right here. Uh, <coughs> but either way, uh, I know that it would be cosine 30 in the i, and I'm, I'm guessing this way, negative VB cosine 30 in the i, <coughs> but then up VB sine 30 in the j. If you know its direction, go ahead and give it cosine 30 sine 30, like that. So now that's only one unknown left inside my equation, because uh, now I've got another unknown in the right inside my equation. The a it's just negative 3 in the J. Um, omega <coughs> of the bar, I don't know, but I know it's in the K direction because this is a uh, 2D problem. All my angular information is clockwise or counterclockwise in, in the K direction. So cross this with an R <coughs> that's going from A to B. From A to B. Uh, so that would be uh, to the left to sine 45 in the i and down to cosine 45 in the j. There we go right there. <clears throat> so, you know, you can leave this sine 45, cosine 45. Yeah, let's just do that. <clears throat> and there's my equation. And I've got two unknowns. VB, the magnitude of VB, and <clears throat> omega AB. So let's Go to my I and J equation. Uh, <clears throat> what do I have on the left hand side? Negative VB cosine 30. Uh, okay, and so which one of these is going to show up in my <clears throat> in my I uh, in my I equation? This one. So 2 cosine 45 times omega AB. <clears throat> And positive or negative? Well, K cross J, okay, so if, let's, if you need to go back maybe to this, uh, how I memorize my um, cross products. K cross J going this way would be negative I. K cross J, <clears throat> K cross J is negative I. Then I have a negative right there, so it would be positive right there. <clears throat> that equation, um, has two unknowns, so let me jump to my next equation. VB sine 30, negative 3, and then which one of these <coughs> would show up in my uh, J equation? This one, right? The K and K cross the I would show up in the J equation. Uh, so the magnitude would be 2 sine 45 omega AB. And <clears throat> K cross I is positive J, and I've got one negative. <clears throat> so that would be negative J right there. And so there are my two equations, two unknowns. Um, you, can, you, you should be able to solve two equations, two unknowns. I like to <clears throat> substitute one 
you know, write one in terms of the other and substitute. I like use substitution for uh, solving simultaneous equations. But with 45 degrees, sometimes there's a, a quick, you know, shortcut uh, because cosine 45 degrees is the same as sine 45 degrees. So I could just plug that in right there, uh, solve for VB. I would get <clears throat> VB is 8.2 meters per second. Uh, omega would be negative 5.02 radians per second. What does that negative mean? That negative means it. Uh, I had guessed it was in the positive case. It's actually in the negative case, so that negative means clockwise. Clockwise, 5.02. But I think it just asks for what's the velocity of the peg B at this instant. It's 8.2 meters per second. Let's say, take a step back and look. This one was was an easy problem. I mean, we could have done this earlier on in this, this chapter. Um, <clears throat> the bar AB is the heart of my problem. That's where I'm going to do, do the relative velocity method for bar AB. And so I just plug in everything I know. Plug in everything I know. I know the direction, so go ahead and plug in the direction. I know the velocity of A completely. And then omega cross R. Be careful with... B, A, B slash A. This has got to be B slash A, which is from A to B. And be careful with the cross products. And then just, just doing the math right there. 